Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I wanted to show you how you can quickly apply uh, effects to multiple clips in your timeline. Uh, so this tutorial applies if you're working in Adobe Premiere uh, and that's because this is one of the features that you get in that program. Uh, so here as you can see I have a timeline and basically I have a lot, bunch of cuts but it's actually made up of just two shots. I have basically this shot up here, this is the main shot kind of looking at me. Uh, and then here's uh, these kind of close-up shots uh, slightly from an angle and they're just shot from two different cameras. Yet as you can see on the timeline I have lots of different cuts. So if, uh, let's say I wanted to apply any kind of effect, so let's go here into uh, video effects. Uh, let's say go to distort, uh, apply let's say corner, I mean uh, lens distortion. Uh, and then here in the effects controls here panel, uh, you know, let's say I can adjust the curvature, all, the, all that stuff. So let's say I apply this effect, if I want to apply that effect to another clip, I would have to go here, copy it, and then go let's say to my next clip and then go right here again and go know paste the attributes or for example you can select multiple clips and just paste those same attributes uh, but let's say let's say if I just wanted to do it on, on just these shots here that are kind of uh, you know from the main camera kind of looking forward at my face uh, and not apply it to all the other shots then it would pretty much mean I have to go shot by shot and kind of paste the effect which is not the fastest way of working uh, so here for example uh, let me take the shot again I'm going to delete this effect and this by the way will, uh, you know, it's going to also apply if, uh, if let's say you're doing color grading and you don't want to color grade each shot, uh, you know, or each basically here a shot that you have edited in your timeline separately. Uh, you can go into here into the color module on Premiere uh, and in here, let's say I'll just do some basic color correction. So this shot was done actually on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K uh, in the film profile. So that's why it's kind of flat looking. Uh, so I'm going to go in here in my basic color correction and I'm just going to load in the LUT here uh, that will convert it from basically uh, this kind of flat looking profile into uh, into something that, uh, that looks more like proper video. So I apply it and you can see this, there's my shot. Uh, I can look at my lumetri and I can make some you know tiny adjustments. Let's say bring up the, the whites a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. Uh, darken the, the black areas a little bit, uh, maybe offset it so it's not so warm. So there I have my quick little effects before and after. And as you can see, I've applied it to this shot, right? And if now, if I wanted to do basically apply this effect to all the other shots, again, I would have to go into effects control and you'll see that uh, basically on this clip, uh, literally what it did uh, is it applied the Lumetri color effect. And that's the cool thing in a way about uh, Adobe Premiere is that all of your color grading that you're doing is nothing more but essentially but just another effect. So whether it's something where you distorted an image or, uh, the, you know, completely doing something, you know, wacky to your, your shot, or if it's something as simple as just some basic color grading, it's all just an effect. So you can take this now and you can very quickly apply it to what's called uh, the master clip meaning the actual original shot that we imported in here. Uh, and the way you would do that is, then I'm going to go to editing here, uh, my editing module, and I'm going to right click on the clip, go reveal in project, and it's going to show me this clip. And it's this one up here. Uh, with this clip here, uh, I'm going to double click it so that it brings it up into the uh, source window up here. Uh, and then now on the effects window, if I, whatever effects I apply up here, whether it's the lens distortion or in this case, let's say the Lumetri uh, effect, just make sure that you're applying it up here where it says master uh, and then the name of the actual file. That means that it's going to apply sort of like it's applying it to the original clip they imported before any editing has been done to it. So in here, I'm going to just right click, go paste. And now I'm going to turn on the effect. So you can see uh, it's basically, you know, it's, it's now it's, it's actually, you know, doing the color grading. And as you'll notice now, my timeline, the shot itself is color graded. But look at this thing. Uh, even if I look at this shot in the source window, you can notice the, the whole shot is actually color graded. Uh, now, if I, for example, scroll, you'll see this close up, which was done on another camera, is still looking kind of looking flat. It's not color graded. But look at this. Another shot of me here, it's color graded. And here it's color graded, color graded, all of that stuff. So. As you can see, you can you can basically have applied my color grading to that shot 
doesn't matter where it is in which timeline or or where in the timeline it is uh, and I can do the same thing now quickly let's say to these close-up shots so these ones were shot on the GH5 so uh, again I can go right here go reveal and project double click on it we have it here in the source window and then in effects control I could apply it but if for example if all I'm doing is just color grading I can actually go into the color module and you'll notice that you know with this clip selected I can apply my effects here so I can do all my basic color grading how I did it before but you see right now it's applying it to that actual clip in that specific moment in the timeline but to the left side I have another tab and this one actually says master and then the name of the file. So if I select this tab and now do my color grading, uh, then again, it's gonna apply it to the master clip. Uh, so again, in this one, I'm gonna apply a simple LUT uh, to convert it to the right color space. Uh, and with the LUT applied, maybe again, I'll just look at the here. Uh, scopes, brighten it up a little bit. Maybe actually bring up the shadows a little bit in this one make it a little bit warmer and there's my color grade now you'll notice that here's this shot and let's go later on in the timeline where we see there's there's the same shot again and it's color graded now uh, and that's because it's actually applied like I said not in the clip basically effect because you can see up here it shows that there's nothing and in fact if I go in, in my editing module here and I look in the effects control even with this clip selected uh, it's showing me that there is no effect applied, right? Uh, but if I go into the master for it, uh, then it shows me that the Lumetri effect is applied. And I can turn it on and off, or I can edit it. And now the cool thing is, if I, let's say, you know, I realize, you know what, maybe I don't want to make it so warm. I can want to make it a little bit cooler looking, uh, things like that. Or let's say, you know, I want to make it black and white. So you can see I can do it, and now all of those shots are going to be updated. So you see all of these shots now are black and white. So that's the cool thing and a little basically the advantage of, you know, of applying effects to your master clip uh, because you can do it to all of the shots, you know, in all of your timelines, doesn't matter where they are. Anyways, this is a quick tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to see other tutorials, film gear reviews, things like that, uh, go to my website at tomantosfilms.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the newsletter so you stay up to date with uh, the latest things that I have uh, coming out on my website. Uh, anyways, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.